Hello everybody. Welcome back to how to build a 105 Thunder Chief. Ten minutes at a time. Okay everybody, I'm on primer dried. And it looks pretty good, man. I got a nice little primer up there. Now what I need to do is just uh, get this Start in with the pencil marks again. It's really looking pretty good. I don't have too many spots that are out of whack. One right there is kind of concerning me. Okay. There's a high spot right there. Little area back here needs addressed. I don't know if I can zoom in on that and show you that. See that little area right there? That needs a little work. Ain't bad. Looks like there's a sanding mark there for my block sander. That little area, is, you know, comes together like this. And, you know, I tried to sand that with my block sander. It actually made a little mark there. So, you need to be careful of that. This up here has some issues. I just kind of don't like the way this looks. It looks like that, this little area here needs some addressing and that little area there. I'm going to wait till that plastic model gets here tomorrow before I do too much with that. But you put that stuff on the old Greyhound bus. It'll be here tomorrow. Tell you what, that Greyhound shipping is, is uh, fast, man. It's like old FedEx and something. You know, it don't take much. We have stuff here in a day from Texas. It's like overnight shipping, man. This little area here I dug out. It was just getting a little good. Anything that just don't look right, there's some scratches there for my big rock sander. Rock there. Well, this time we want to be careful. We, I don't want to sand all the way back down to the glass again. Then I'll have more pinhole issues. Every time we get down to the glass, start sanding into the glass, you know, uh, we don't want to do that anymore if we can avoid it, you know, you know, just roll her over little bits at a time, you got to speak up if you see something I miss. Basically, it's looking pretty good. Not quite. Ain't going to be quite as many pencil marks as there was last time around. But I'm still getting a few. This nose part came out really well. Where I did all that filling. Get down that nose now. It's all looking good. I can't wait to get one of these laid up people. I like these studs. Who out there can tell me 
why they call these things studs. Huh? Yeah, I know. And how many do y'all know? Why did they call the F-105 Thunder Chief a thud? These are some cool old jets, man. There's a lot on YouTube about them. I've been watching old Lip Griffin Day. Think I should do that silver paint job. Kind of like that one too, but I should have liked them camouflage ones. They got the three color camo. I want to make the I don't want to make one of them workhorse looking jets. No, there's an issue. There's something don't look quite right. Oh, man. There's something in holes there. I was thinking, man, there's a bunch of pencil marks. Yeah, but not as many as I had last time around. Each, each time we do this, it'll just be less and less. And that's pretty much all from uh, glassing it, people glassing that foam. You know, you put all that fiberglass on to start foam. And, No, and it just ain't perfect. This is just how you do it. And once I get this, it's absolutely perfect. Then I'll glue them the little winglets in. Should have had Paul go ahead and send me a set of gear so I can show you guys. Some of these little pinholes, I might use that uh, that air dry stuff. I don't use, use it on big stuff because it shrinks so bad. Bondo's a little harder to sand. I don't know. This all up here just needs a good block and I can still see little ridges. You can probably see them a little bit through the camera. See them little spots I think. I'll block it. You know how you your your dad told you taught you how to sand wood, you know, all one direction? Well you throw that out the window with stuff like this. You gotta sand different directions in different areas. You know, that 220 paper and uh, hit it hard. See these ridges here, I, I need to go this way. You know, crossways. And that'll knock them down. You know, what we don't want to do is, if you take, you know, there's a ridge right here. You know, if we just go this way, it won't knock the ridge down. You know what I mean? It'll sand it all down. We want to knock that ridge down and go crossways. You know, there's really no grain. Hope we're running out of time, people. But I'm in the mood to make some videos tonight. So we'll give you some more Thunder Chief building action. And let's see if we can't get something done tonight. How's that sound? We'll see you back in the shop. This is a drama-free zone.